and welcome to the 505 tutorial for setting the Ethernet IP address. In this tutorial, we will review setting the Ethernet IP address for your 505 unit. It is important to understand how to network the 505 to your plant network so that the 505 can communicate to other devices and service tools via Ethernet. The 505 controller has four physical Ethernet connections. The Ethernet 1, Ethernet 2, and Ethernet 3 configurations refer to the unit's physical Ethernet connections. Ethernet 4 is reserved and is not configurable through the front panel. Before a user can make any changes to the IP settings, the user level must be set to configure and the unit must be in configuration mode. To verify the user level and mode, press Mode. On the User Login and Mode Selection screen, verify that the user level is configured and the mode is configuration. If you don't know how to change user levels, please refer to the Changing User Levels tutorial. If you don't know how to change modes, please refer to the Changing Modes and Languages tutorial. Now, press Home to return to the main screen. To set the Ethernet IP address for your 505, from the Home screen, press the black function key below Configuration. On the Configuration menu screen, use the Navigation cross keys to highlight Communications, and then press Enter to select it. The Ethernet IP configuration screen displays. At the top of the screen, you will see the current IP addresses and subnet masks. For each Ethernet connection you want to configure, first use the navigation cross keys to highlight the first number box of the applicable Ethernet connection. Next, either press Enter to select that number, use the numeric keypad to replace it with the desired number, and then press Enter to accept the new value. Or press the Adjust Up or Adjust Down key as many times as necessary to increase or decrease the number in the highlighted box until the desired number is reached. Repeat these steps for each box in the applicable Ethernet address row and in the applicable Ethernet subnet mask row. For example, in this demonstration, we configured Ethernet 1 only. After a new IP and subnet have been entered, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the set IP button that corresponds to the Ethernet number you just configured. For instance, in this demonstration, we configured the boxes Ethernet 1, so we are using the navigation cross keys to highlight set IP 1. Press Enter to send the new IP to the controller. Once set, the new IP address and subnet will display at the top of the screen. The device gateway can also be changed from this screen. To open the gateway pop-up, press the black function key below Gateway. The current gateway window opens at the bottom of the screen. The device gateway can be changed in the same manner as the Ethernet addresses. Press Enter to select the value within that box. Use the numeric keypad to change the value. Press Enter to set that value. Use the navigation cross keys to highlight the next box with the value you want to change. Press Enter to select the value within that box. Use the Adjust keys to change the value. Press Enter to set the new value. After you have changed all the boxes and the new gateway address has been entered completely, press the right arrow navigation cross key to highlight Set Gateway. Then, press Enter to send the new gateway to the controller. Once set, the new gateway will be displayed at the top of the pop-up box. To exit the current gateway pop-up window, press the black function key below Close. From the Ethernet IP configuration screen, you can also access the Modbus screen. To do so, press the black function key below the right arrow button. The Modbus screen opens. To use Modbus, press the down arrow navigation cross key to highlight the Use Modbus checkbox. Press Enter to select the checkbox. Three more checkboxes, each pertaining to Modbus links, display on the screen. To enable one or more of the three available Modbus links, 
Use the navigation cross keys to highlight each one and then press enter. After you have enabled the desired links, their individual configuration screens become available. To access a link's configuration screen, press the black function key below the right arrow button. To return to the home screen, press home two times. When IP configuration is complete, you can exit configuration mode, which will remove the input output lock. To do so, press mode. On the user login and mode selection screen that displays, press the black function key below exit configuration. Use the navigation cross keys to select OK in the window that pops up. Then press enter to have the controller save and reset the unit configuration. As always, when exiting configuration mode, the unit resets to the operator user level and operation mode. You can verify this by confirming that the operator LED is lit in the user level section and that the operation LED is lit in the mode section. You now know the basics of setting the Ethernet IP address for the 505 controller. Please be sure to view the other tutorials for more information. Thank you.